fastball. Lace. Oh, what a catch by Urshela. Again. He did it again. Love the defense. Drew Urshela has been so solid over there at third. And some other great plays from the Twins in the field we're going to take a look at because there are a couple of huge double plays that Trevor McGill induced. Very athletic double plays here going around the horn. Trevor McGill was massive. Two and two-thirds shutout innings coming out of the middle innings of the bullpen. Stranded the three runners he inherited. Just about as big of a performance as you can get out of a, a middle reliever. And these guys were having fun. Uh, and Jorge Polanco got the party started uh, with a big home run in a four-run first inning for the Twins, but that lead kind of quickly evaporated. But Carlos Correa helped put the Twins back on top with a home run of his own. Uh, and it was a close game from then on, really, until the bottom of the eighth inning. Gio Urshela delivers this two-out hit to give the Twins another r- run for breathing room. Max Kepler had tripled. And then Nick's, Nick Gordon delivered a two-run double to really open it up. And Arise also had a run soaring hit in the eighth. The Twins won 10-7. Here we go. Before we get to the minor league highlights, here's a look at the starting pitching breakdown from every affiliate. The Saints won tonight despite Derek Rodriguez giving up six runs. We'll get to that in a sec. Matt Cantorino hit a pitch limit in the third inning, so that's why his start was so short. But since we've got Fort Myers video, we got to take a look at Marco Raya here. I'm going to give you a bunch of Marco Raya. He threw five innings, gave up four hits, gave up two runs, but only one of them was earned. One walk, seven strikeouts. Uh, all four of his pitches looking usable, uh, which is impressive from a 19-year-old. You know, I saw him hit 96 with his fastball, had a mid-80s slider, a high 70s curveball, and then an 89-90 changeup. Not sure if it's a traditional changeup or a split change. Um, but looking really impressive down there. 2.48 ERA, 1.10 whip on the season, 9.62 K per nine, and a 3.44 strikeout to walk ratio for Marco Raya, who is the Twins' fourth round pick in 2020, which of, of course was the COVID shortened draft. The Twins only had four draft picks that year. It was only a five round draft. And, you know, the first two, Aaron Sabato and Alaric Solari are off to slow start. So Raya's a pretty important guy, and he's really stepping up. Here's some of Matt Cantorino, who had a, a kind of a, a rough start. We'll get to a little bit of why, too, in a minute. But he did walk four batters, but he struck out six guys. Six of the 14 batters he faced, he struck out. Uh, but only 35 of his 62 pitches were strikes. That's why he had such a short outing, got removed in the third inning due to pitch uh, limits. Uh, but here's a look at the notable hitting performers, and we'll get into some more minor league highlights. So Urshela getting it done, three for five at the plate. Jermaine Palacios will show his walk-off hit in a moment. Uh, St. Martin, plenty of highlights on him coming. And Carnacion Strand, uh, show that he's 39 RBI in 41 games for the uh, Colonels this year. Just very impressive. Before we get to the hitting, Royce Lewis started in center field tonight and they got to make some plays, some routine plays. But not about you, but to my eyes, these are these are the greatest routine catches anybody's ever made in AAA, I think. I think he's looking good out there. <laughs> Got a chance to set up for a throw. We didn't get to see it because he actually didn't throw home. He threw it a third. Uh, but just good to see him getting some experience out there. And then here's Jermaine Palacios plating Jake Cave to complete a massive comeback. The Saints were down 8-2, to two and they won 9-8. to eight. What a crazy game for them. I got some Keone Cavaco highlights for you. I showed Noah Miller was two for four. Uh, Keone Cavaco was also two for four. He and drew a walk. He was a DH in this one. He's off to a bit of a slow start, but uh, he's been kind of adding, having a very nice series here at Bradenton. So we've been kind of seeing his best. He gets it at an opposite field single and then pulls this double down the line to score a run as well. Uh, so again, that's Keone Cavaco. And Austin Martin. This was kind of an Austin Martin y game, and we'll get to why in just a sec. <laughs> But he had three hits, and, you know, he's doing a great job of getting on base, a 378 on base percentage, but the slugging is only 333. But I don't, this might be who this guy is. You know, that maybe the power never comes around, and this is just kind of the type of player he is. And I don't know that there's, you know, his prospect stock won't be as high, and I've been low on him in terms of that. But he's a tremendous base runner, as you saw there, taking the extra base on that throw. Um, you're going to see him steal his, another base here. He's 20 for 22 in stolen base attempts on this season. 
Um, so again, I'm not, I've been the low guy in Austin Martin prospect wise, but there's a lot of stuff to like. There's a lot of stuff to, he does well. And I'm really intrigued at who he becomes because, you know, who knows, maybe the power does come along eventually, but the floor is very high. And I think everybody's always been saying that the problem though, is he's not a shortstop. He made two errors tonight. And that also really hurt Cantorino and kind of, you know, forced him to throw more pitches than he had to. So it's kind of unfortunate. There is. You, you, you can play around with things and not care too much at the minor league level about wins and losses, but there's impact on these things. Somebody asked earlier on how they can support the channel outside of just watching. I don't have a Patreon. I don't plan on setting one up, but there is this super thanks button on YouTube you can hit, and there's a, a preview of the screen that'll come up. I want to shout out anybody who's given me a super chat on the live streams previously. That's all of these folks here. Thank you so much. Don't feel obligated. I just wanted to open this up as, a, as an opportunity for anybody that wants to show us some extra support that they can. I'll try to find ways to shout people out or do some fun stuff. Uh, but I don't want to put anything behind a paywall or really reduce the things I'm working on on these uh, system highlights or system recaps. So you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Just wanted to open up that avenue. But Kind of we'll end on the taking another look at these in case you missed them. You saw the starting pitching rundown and then the notable hitting performances. I do one of these six days a week, so make sure to stop on back tomorrow and check out what happened. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you watch if you watch to the end of these, you're helping me out a ton and helping these find new new people. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you.